uh, on standing ahead. How Boom has been making a lot of roster. Found them. Like, you know they have made. In the pistol round, the players left standing. I think they can get the spike off indeed, but the retake is definitely oh. last player standing. CLD getting caught looking the wrong way completely now to one. It's all on the Terry Alien. At this point, what can he really do? Well, we're talking about some new boom. Um, just walk into their cross. Unchecked, he could actually catch someone off guard here, but with 12 seconds left on the clock, time is ticking down. They do need to get the kills and. They actually managed to find them. One, oh, only one remaining. player here towards the backside, but easily dispatched of all up to Asterisk oh, right now. You will not far kill from my the, the res comes up on top of it. Boom, it's his full five-man, actually four-man push that might come towards B-Site very soon. They've been successful in holding that back for the meantime, but the investments that they have been putting in, man, the operator is not a cheap. Take them rather handily. It's all up to Boom. They need to get at least one pick, and they do. Frostmine manages to find a double kill as he gets Tensai and Jinx. Finally will be traded out by Midi, but it's still a 3v2 one-man advantage here for the side of Fight Fennel. Planted. They're going to find themselves in a decent position to take this into a tie game. This is still doable, though, for Boom. If Flip Jitter here can find the pickoff, especially with his Operator in hand, then this could easily be a round that they can come back into, but they're going to need to take on that time because it is hollowing away from them. The sands of it are slowly withering, and now Flip Jitter trying to find an opening pick, but Fennel, they're just not giving him that opportunity. The Operator has to be the peeker and cannot land the shot as two of them are already holding the angle. It's going to be all down here to Asterisk. He's going to need an exclamation at the end of this because this should be a done deal. 1v3. No way to get in the site safely. He's able to find one, but a quick trade-off here from Darielly will secure the round. Yeah. Um, that is the point here from Astra already being deployed. Another full execute coming in. Tensai gets the refrag on Asterisk. Now a 4v4. The lockdown available for Eeyore. Should be deployed once the spike goes down here. And it will invariably be so. As we're going to look for a full retake here with a 4v5. Now, lockdown timer is counting down. They're going to be leaving Jinx on site for now. I imagine he's going to try to get a pick. But he doesn't end up doing it. And the site is completely clear. Now it's a 3v3. Maybe for One opening pick, Ooh, followed up with another nice shot onto that down low player. It's all the Blaze King, very low on HP, 30 seconds, and I don't think he could get out of this spot if he tried. Have to find some nutty shots might make things a little bit more interesting, but it's all going to be about whether they can hold it or not. So far, they haven't, and that's another end of their reality. That's the stage open up here. A site completely vulnerable. Jinx. Aggressive peak will be punished by Flip Jitter, and that's a little bit of a saving grace right now for the side of Boom. Good nade onto their reality. Not gonna do enough to force him off the plant though. As Asterisk now will be standing. propping up, and he gets a double here. Their reality's good for a frag here, but Flip Jitter trades down immediately. One v three. CLZ looking for one. He's got it now. Two more to find as he pushes towards site. Oh. It's not planted for him specifically, so he will have to play this a little bit more aggressively. Ooh. Don't even get a tap right now, and that's a nice gravity well to get him off of it here, but Flip Jitter is holding this angle, trying to jump peek across it, misses the shot, CLZ, he goes wide, but Blaze King is good for the punish. 6-3, to three, their previous series, and you know, if they can repeat that success here, then Boom should be out of map number one. Now Blaze, uh, expect, excuse me, Flips Jitter with the operator this high up, Flip Jitter gets mid. one, Tailwind out, straight from B main, they go to market instead, but they are going to be going into a crossfire. There's three si three players here holding from the side of Boom. They've dispatched one. Blaze King gets another in response here, but they don't expect Eeyore. And very nicely done for him, that's the initiative I've been talking about. I like to see, and Flip Jitter gets a pick from there. Jinx going down is a huge find now for Boom. You will yeah, exactly what I was hoping allies. for them to do at the very start of this game. Play that Boom playstyle that we know and love. Play that aggressive Whoa. operator. Deploying Pick the win the rounds. They're starting to feel that momentum. This is something we needed from them much earlier on. As the Hunter's Fury comes down, it connects on the one. It gets their alley. Might find a B-side push. You can left. see that Flip is trying to find a lucky shot in through the smoke. And CLZ, they clear up the site. This is perfect now for Fennel. They brought to a 3v3. And this is a great opportunity. But boom, they have a lifeline to work with here. They have that cosmic divide. And this could potentially swing the retake around their way back once again. If they can get it in the right place in the right time, I'm sure that Astro Cosmic Divide can be the linchpin in this round, but they have an operator. They need the operator to find a shot. Flips it or he misses that opportunity, Ritter. And Midi 
He's gonna get that trade frag onto Frostmine, now a 2v2, flips to Durr, switches out to the Vandal, and with low HP, I think he should have stayed on the off. Exactly as Tensai takes him down to 1v1 right now. It's Asterisk, who is caught blocking the wrong way, and he just threw out his knife here. But again, full execute. Now it's Boom's turn to show them how they can execute onto that side. A is completely open right now after that kill here from onto CLZ, and that's another nice shot here from Flips to Durr. Blaze King to follow up with another as well, now a 2v5. Spike and planted. both of these players coming in here from... Short, they have to deal with Flip Jitter, who was pushing. Ooh. He gets dinked up, but he gets away in the nick of time, falling back, yeah. giving information to his team that both players from Fennel are coming up from that heaven side, and they, all they have to do is watch that angle. We have crossfires. So this should be around done and dusted for Boom Esports right now, and all they gotta do is keep it clean, but it's a nice shot from Dariali, and Flip Jitter is I'm sure they have the Blade Storm on Flip Jitter. Let's see what he's got here. As History comes in. Oh, already taken to 38 before he sees anyone, and that's gonna make him softer and squishier for CLZ. Oh, down, down mid with a good double. Swing it out at the right time to just completely nullify this push Last right here from Boomy Sports. And another great set of kills here as we see it around the corner of Eeyore, but Eeyore's prepared. It's going to be towards A as the spike will be making its way towards that A site. There are two players holding it for now. Good couple of taps right there from at the same time. Jinx is rotating out. It is the wrong call entirely. CLZ, he's being sucked in from the bottom. That gravity well still catches him. He got king, but he still gets a kill before he drops down. Blaze King and Frostmine are there. Good for the response. Let us do a 2v2. One enemy remaining. Good information, but an even oh. better shot from Frostmine as he brings it to a 2v1. All up to Dariali, the soul player clutching. Right now, can he do it? Spike just has gone down. So at the very least, he has a lot of time flash, but the wall is up to give him an off angle. Will it give him the edge that he needs? Lots of tip of the head, but can't One last a shot. Remaining. Low HP though, and Frostmine is taken down. Dariali heals himself up and it's all up to Blaze King who's playing safe towards that aim and it's planted completely for him. Now Dariali sees his shoulder. He's gonna slow him down. Maybe we'll try to get it to half. And oh, he actually has an angle here to defuse this, but Blaze King... Hey, Mitty has a perfect opportunity to make you a play here as it. now the smoke gives him enough it. time to get that zero point off a of cooldown. Cosmic divide up here, but he doesn't mind. He doesn't matter and he's gonna try and go for things. Pop flash has on through. We'll be able to deny the plan, but he's gonna go down himself. A flurry of those frags come. I Either way, it's down to a 3v3. And with that Astro Wall, that Astro Wall is for that quick plant. They're just gonna dash on out of that site and play completely for the post plant. They do have a Sova up, so it's a viable strategy for now. They would have been happier if Midi was up just to throw those nades out and those flashes. But it's all gonna be about how they can retake this site here. The wall has already been used, so this is gonna be a little bit tough as uh, Hunter's Fury on actually catches off Jinx. Now Frostmind is there with a the follow-up and Asterisk to Ellie. I'm not sure I like him being first aggression since he has the res, run. but for that first speak out and he actually does get the kill trades out his teammate Tensai is revived he does get red Dariali is taken down here but Tensai gets out so that's a positive net uh, yeah that's a net positive here for the side of Fennel they do get themselves in a 4v2 on top of that res and Jinx is right there with a shot from the operator all in the hands of Frost my nice shot though however from he's got a lot to bring back but 1v3 he's fired out he goes down Tensai take and that's a little bit of a premature Hunter's Fury, actually. Doesn't really get much, but he gets the spike down, down here with 12 seconds left. Their reality could come huge. Looking for three, but he gets left. denied. Flips to Dirt and Eeyore here to bring it back. 2v2 right now, and oh, the shock dart. That's gonna be the lid on the coffin on this round here, as Tensai perfectly places that shock dart. Boom Esports rush into the side without clearing much, and they get threaded because of that, but now Jinx on the peak, able to find one. Does he know that there's one here in mid on Sub Rosa? That's gonna be Eeyore. Could potentially get that trade, but Jinx, he seems ready here towards B Link. He does not land a shot. Is Eeyore gonna turn him to sleep? Well, that is a great pickup to find right now. 10 to 11. As Eeyore finds another, he's gotten. Now, now there's two players down on the side of Fennel. Their reality has been great on these holds thus far, but this time he'll be punished. Eeyore finding three kills in this round. And he might just be the player to take them into match point here. And Eeyore finds a fourth. Four kills. Four. Kind of like by default, and they're looking to just show what they got and really are happy to be here. But I'm sure they're going to try their darndest. And in that case, though, Eeyore and Flipjet are finding these opening double picks. We've seen Mitty kind of get quite aggressive early on in these rounds and it hasn't always worked out for them.
CLZ finding one, but the quick trade here brings it down to a 3v2. And BME, they're at match point, man, and they're at the cusp of taking map number one yeah. as well. Yeah, and they've spike already planted. gotten the spike planted down here. 2v3, it's gonna take a massive effort from Tensai and Dariali to get this round. And, you know, it's just gonna be so one difficult. The remaining. crossfire's already set. Asterisk has found a kill. Tensai's down. Dariali 1v3 oh. yet again. Clutch, but with only a Spectre, he can't do it! Attacker 10 win. 13 is... Full strat coming up for us. I mean, it is their map choice after all. Um, yeah. and... So we get this information Lock off the Mitty. Mitty knows he's here. He has to assume that he's somewhere near close as well. Yikes. And Jinx is able to find one that's not Jinx's luck because he's second try. Good opening pick right there. Jinx is able to get one. And this is a player that you want to leave alone, it's Flips Jadur, so he is just lurking, he's working that entire kitchen, that mid angle all alone while the rest of his team works that A side. And he has actually managed to dash in all the way, so now they have the A side completely clear. But, as I say that, Midi and Tensai, a good couple of headshots there to land, Blaze King will find a refrag, but it's still going to be free. Asterisk and Blaze. They've got a lot on their plate to be able to retake this round here. Their reality, he has that wall One off. enemy remaining. He could potentially use that to his advantage, but it's looking like it's not going to be needed at all. A CLZ with a double kill will secure this round for... So let's go on over to the A-side ops. There we go. The fight is happening here. Chaos. Oh, conundrum everywhere. And is looking to enter the site, and they go for a one for one, two for two on either side. Three versus two right now is... Boom! They've made this force fight work. <sighs> Flip to Dirt with two massive kills right there on the Spike entry. Planted. He's able to bring us into a 3v2, and that is a very, very good force buy from Boom. They do need to close this one out. Fade away standing. running headshot from Darielle. He flips to Dirt with three, though. And he has one more to find if he wants to get this 4k. I mean, that's not a situation anybody wants to be. Anime where, like... There's a cause, like like a, a meteor, and then like it comet. resets time, and then... Kimi yeah. Onawa! Yeah, Kimi Onawa. Reminds me of that. Should we play the music in the background? I mean... Yeah, we, we, we had it on the logo. Anime music in the background, but... Um, down, <laughs> the reality with a refrag here, the only uh, real rifle earlier on. Um, now, of course, the CLZ has one to one enemy his remaining. Well, and so does MIDI. And this... They're just trading... They're just trading rounds, man. Uh, that's over as quick as it can be. Not your talent as himself, but... <laughs> Let's go on to things here, Elu. As we're now in round number five, economy ball on both sides. Very common kind of quality towards this B-long position. Flip Jitter finally lands. They fall back um, and then make that retake happen. But instead, I think what's going to happen here is that they're going to deploy it already. A little bit premature, if you ask me, but they might swing on the timing here because... The timing might be very off for Boomy Sports, so it's all going to be about what they do. They're going to pull the trigger on it, go straight in. The plan is being worked on already, but it leads to nothing. A CLZ gets shut down. Cross line looking for the play on the site, but it will not matter as the defuse came in. I thought Last that the player standing. lockdown was a really good effect here for the side of FL on the defensive side. Off shot coming in, raining through for Jinx here. The Blaze King, Frostmind, be able to get CLZ. Already the side Oh, 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 whoa. Spike oh. down oh. A. Okay, now we're back into Frostmind with a triple kill. Here we go. That's what I like to see. Is it more risk in this case? He did go towards the B site initially, but he linked up here now with Jinx as they're going to go try and retake his B site. The pit has come on down and they now realize what is up. The plan has been given away, but Frostmind has a perfect pit to sink them down in the hole. I. I think is very much doable right now for Frostmine. Let's see how frosty he can be. Oh. I'm sorry, I just had to do it. Um, yeah, <laughs> but they do actually get in the smoke. Can they find him? That is the question. He doesn't have any more sneakers. The timing actually goes his way for- Again, this is their redemption arc. If they can come up in a big way in LCQ, then this is everything we've been looking for. But I, that's uh, a good start to it. Eeyore with one kill. Take flight. Oh, Eeyore, okay. What's he done from him? Hasn't having, uh, having the loudest of games so far as Jinx will find Eeyore. One and done. Here comes the peek out and Minty, Minty rather, will get found. Oh no, Jinx goes down to his own! The res will come in from Dariali. Oh, it's a scramble on the B side idea. and right now the eggs are being tossed and turned. Boom! They should be able to get this plant down and that they will, but Minty completely denying Asterisk right after to get back to safety. A 3v3, a retake is going to come here from FL. They've got some utility to work with, but not much left. 
Remaining. And he's just gonna get shut out completely. Last player but standing. Frostmind is able to find two, unable to find the third. It's Midi who does. He gets a triple kill. The snake bite did come out, but still a lot of time. I was a blind ult. He does still have all of his utility. Jinx with a good opening pickup though. Your duty is not over. Very curiously. I mean, he doesn't have algo no recon, so maybe he used one off. But I don't think he actually had to ping off of that. Jinx is able to find that kill here, Ilu, and as Blaze King goes down, that's a big pick for them. Blaze King, he might be in the Sova, but he's a big time player in the fracking capabilities. Or oh, boom, Flip Jitter, another one, another name here to be feared. Finds Jinx, the opposing death. They're gonna melt this wall down immediately. Oh, Astro is into such dangerous waters right now. Marking in that muddy Side water, and Tensai is gonna find one with the quick trade off here for Eeyore. We'll bring you to a 3v3. Time taken away on the loft down here. Dariali able to cut off one, but. Only one completely open bomb site here. They're gonna plant a little bit default on this one. They don't want to push Cut anymore. They do just want to play that crossfire. So they're gonna have Eeyore fall back, and they're just gonna play their angles. Oh well, you're gonna have to find some way to do slice and dice this up. Two v two right now. Both duelists up all line utility. It's the uh, story here for Fennel. Yeah, this peak is not going to favor mid. You can't jiggle peak that because Eeyore is gonna land every single time and. Now in the 1v2, Flip Jitter is low, Last so single bullet dead. can do him on in here. CLZ finds that one, and now he suddenly has a life oh. opportunity here to win this, and he does get the clutch! Oh, CLZ oh. has more than enough time as well for the deep structures, you know, they have the advantage, but still give it up away. They're Yali playing this very forward, they have a triple stack over the B side, and not looking to give it up, but Flip Jitter is able to find that pick on their Yali himself, biting off a bit more than he can chew, and Jinx falls to the same fate. Right now, boom, have a good position, but we've seen them lose these emails. We've seen them lose these man advantages, and Mitty's able to equalize things up now. Frostmine goes down, and that's just completely looking like a missed opportunity here for Boom, but good find by Eeyore. Exactly what they need to get the top this back into the round. Then he oh. finds a second this time. 3v1, CLZ down and out. As he goes, going up and above, CLZ is able to get a dodge. That's going to be punished right there. Frostmine getting that kill onto Mitty. The rotation, the, fl the flank, completely shut out here by Boom, and it's looking like Boom have a better read right now on the situation. Yeah, this is already looking a lot better, Elo, than what we've seen from their, you know, earlier attacking side. Um, and as I say that, Dariali just finds somehow a lifeline here through that spam on the smoke. Flip Jitter goes down, CLZ looking to do the same exact thing, but they brought you a 4v4 right now. And this could be another opportunity for CLZ. Let that Toxin get back up online and use it for the retake, but it's going very deep into the main, so this won't actually help most of the retake out. You're gonna have to use what they got to work with in the pocket. It isn't exactly much. Jinx, he is very deep, but luckily for him, Dariali's got his back. That was a huge kill now coming from the side of Fennel, and Blaze King's gonna have to 3v3, Asterisk and Blaze King find one of these. It's all down, and Ensai and Jinx, as they're all being shredded down, the round has been secured by Boom, and they know they actually realize they have to use it now. That's the only time they set it out. And you're gonna get one of those cases here, where the wall is on the A side, not affecting anything happening on the actual fight in the B side itself. And as the pit comes down, Jinx is able to find that trade off here in the flip jitter, finds a second, but no more refresh on that. Asterisk and Blaze King, they equalize things up now. 2v3 at the moment. They can get the plant down, but it's being very difficult as Mitty's playing this very close corner with the judge. You're gonna have to be able to extend that gap. And boom, very huge pick for them on their Yali. Yeah, 2v2, make that a 2v1. Asterisk gets three. Red comes out, but it does not matter to Mitty as he's able to isolate that fight 1v1 with the judge. And he comes up huge, and it looks like he will! That's gonna be all the kills that Mitty needs! Jinx, this strat, this is paper. Paper Rex ran this in, um, in, in Berlin. He gets through, he gets above, it's awkward, they run past each other, and <laughs> flips to dirt, just cleans him up from the back. They were all looking a little bit lost, their reality, their one kill, and then all the angle is perfect for him, they know exactly where to shoot, it's, pl it's planted for them, they know the post plant spot, they know exactly where to look, and Frostmine's good for one, but that's all he can get, as it is gonna be another round here, and subsequently wasted, enemy mark. then you're gonna have a rough time, but... A one-for-one -one trade happens, not a direct trade, but a trade nonetheless, and Frostmind finds a second here, at least for the side of Boom, who finally give them something to work with. Spike Eeyore getting that kill was huge one for them, okay, remaining. and this is looking like maybe a bit of a confidence round, the comeback round for Boom. So far, Boom Sports have shown us that they can take the fight to Fennel when they need to, and that's exactly but, um, yeah. Ooh, nice shot right there from Flip Jitter. They did not expect him that close, and he's taking more fights a little bit too haphazard in that one, sure. Right but here. they do manage to get uh, 
one for one. Doesn't really work out for the defensive side, but Boom will take it any day. Uh, they do want to get... Oh, never mind. I take that back. ER just cleaned up midi right there. As Hunter's Fury will come out. And again, it's always for these early Hunter's Furies. But this time, Derial does get taken down by it. So Blaze King has found a lot of value off of that already. Bring it to a 4v2 here. And, Boxes you know, going back down. to what I said earlier, Black and Blue, again, it doesn't really matter if they can uh, win the round uh, that much. They really want to just break the economy and force an equal force and awkward buy. And I think that's when they want to strike the most. But obviously, they'll want to win the rounds, too. He's been fishing quite blind. In eight. this case, something does bite earlier on. But, you know, at some point, Benel, they're going to start to catch on here. And maybe they could start to do something about this wall up to let them cross into the orange and into the tube kitchen being cooked here right now flip jitter finds 10 side Astrid has, has a wall to deny this and he just oh. runs right through it could potentially stick the defuse and nobody's no there to stop him he's gonna stick this actually he gives it up but he doesn't even know that he's completely safe here cloudburst and this is a clean round this is the risk that you run when running that world but in sea and only in sea Recently. i think is it turning into an attacking side map yeah, it's it's kind of that maybe recency um, we've been seeing from that. And Flip Jitter, Eeyore, Double Duelists, finds a pick each. And this is looking like another good round for Boom. Uh oh, we're getting into comeback territory. Oh no, I, I, I we're said. We're already in it, bro. We're this in is it what already. I said, dude. I was like, there's no way they can win this if Fennel wins the pistol. They win the pistol and somehow Boom are clawing their way back. You in. will not kill my eyes. They read the script, guys. They did. Uh, <laughs> Twitch director. He's uh, written this one to be quite, I guess, Out the dramatic. Oh dear, look at that shock dart coming from him. Lego lost in here. Okay, Tensai finding that one cross mine on the trade. And Jinx is able to find another suddenly in the 3v5 down to a 3v3. Okay, but you know, boom, they've been good on the retakes. But uh, what's a retake when you're at a man disadvantage right now? They'd also have the Hunter's Fury. This is a potential Last save call. No, I take that back. Frostmine tap onto the dome of Tensai here. 1v2 though, and with an op in tow, could decide to save it. But they're fairly low on HP on the Fennel side. So this could be something that really works in his favor, especially with that Phantom in his hands. Yeah. Now flips Jadur. He's working his way from the back, goes up and sees one. And hit the shot, Jinx now. And. Spike will finally be planted. Utility will be thrown. Shock dart is good from Spike Blaze King. Down, it actually gets B. the spike planter down. Their reality's out of the picture. 4v5 here. Now Boom starting to make an argument. They still have so much going for them, especially because Tensai peeks out, I'd say a little bit unnecessarily. And they have to deal with this because Boom have them contained. That's the Viper Spit gone, and this is One a very awkward remaining. position for Fennel to be B. in. Nice tap Team from Jinx, but Ace. will it matter at all? Absolutely not. Yes. But, um, the aggressive angle doesn't get deterred by that turret. Instead, he doubles down on that aggression, stays, holds the line, and gets a pickoff onto Midi. No it's a very, Come very on. big pickoff right now here. As they now scramble towards A, and my god, the Tensai has been so good on that utility. He finds another kill onto Blaze King, who is just sitting Hold there. Inside. And now it's a. It's a, you know, it's a great round here, a great plan, 4v4 now on the board, as time starts to take away, Frostmine finds Tensai on that lurk, that clears out any possibility that somebody could be coming from behind them in, in this 3v4. That was huge for them to find, they got three ultimates pull up here, Bladestorm has already been used and so now has the res, 5v3 to secure the round, but Jinx has a good position to maybe try and cause some chaos, here comes Flipjitter. Pick off from him One on the Jinx, but remaining. they're still gonna have to deal with their reality, and that they do. CLZ, last one left alive from the screens, will not get no matter who I am, and still be uh, very, very uh, aware against that, because Flip Jitter, we know that this man can turn things up. As we said earlier on map number one, you know, he stepped into some huge shoes of a Dern King here on Boom, but he's been performing to the top level that we expect from him. Hunter, his fear is gonna find potentially a kill. No, does tag him up quite a bit, Mitty, taking a lot of that damage, but luckily for them, their reality is still alive on the stage to get that, well, heal to get that health back up for you them. 30 seconds left on the clock, they have to go for a plant sometime soon. Here comes the lockdown, but it's not really gonna force the players out of Snowman. They can continue to anchor this down, and on the peak here, Tensai will be found by Asterisk. The wall is down, and Mitty will be able to find the pickoff in the 2 before They have to stick this at this point. There's no more opportunities, and Blaze King setting them on fire. Mitty goes down. Asterisk is looking to get this down. They can't melt the wall fast enough. They can't deny the plant. So they will have to go for a full 5v5 retake. Look at this plant here, Blaze. He's here. coming up all the way from mid. 
bit aware that it's a possibility, but the timing could maybe not work in his favor. Jinx is able to get that kill and flips to Dur, though. That's massive, as the operator does drop here. Slow Orb slows him down, but Fennel yet again finds a massive lead here. Only one person, and that's the flank. Blaze, too little, too late. As... It's gonna be a diffuse straight up for them, can't even get close to it, and it is gonna be fatal on a... Yeah. However, heading onto that A side, as we will look to get that spike down, Eeyore, here to deny, here to take us into another round of overtime, the flank coming into fruition, as Midi is able to get the catch off onto Eeyore, Flip Jadur is ready for punish, left. awaiting him from all the way towards that B side, now they can't decide where to go, it's back towards A that they do end up running, because they don't want to deal with Flip Jadur and his AWP. Fortunately for them, Flip Jadur doesn't cut them off on that rotation as he's watching that rotation towards mid. They are now going back towards that A side. 3v3 as a spike will go down. 14 seconds left, and I think they have enough time to get it down. They can get this planted down, but you can see here that defense is right at the cusp to deny that. Frostmind finding Q, there isn't much time left. Four seconds, no plant can happen. They're gonna have to find the kills here to be able to get this round, but boom, they stay alive. And he's gonna go for another kickoff here. Spot one, dashes out, doesn't get the shot. Okay. Get that information, but did not land the shot the second time around. E are gonna punish him for that, and boom! They completely exploded here all over this A site. Nothing much that they can do as the double sentinels are the only last ones left remaining to be able to try and somehow clutch around, but Eeyore will say no to that. Go to sleep. Mithy taken out. It's all on the Darielli. 1v4 for him in double overtime. He's been putting this situation time and time again, but not with these stakes as Eeyore cuts overtime are looking to end the series and take it 2-0. Wow, that's a big win here. They have been struggling on that attack for a minute. Boom Esports, now they finally... ...them going down into the lower bracket here. for their first game. It's not a good prospect for any team. And for Fennel, barely got by here on the default. That's not going to be one they're going to look forward to, but Jinx will be able to find one. But the quick trade off here from Blaze, playing in that corner. They now know where he is. They do not have the ability to jump it out just as of the moment. The peak comes in here, but the quick trade coming from Asterisk on their Yali brings it to a 3v3 Elu. Spike down. They have an opportunity here, and Mithy finds him an opening. 2v3 now. Frostmine and Asterisk, the only players left on Boom. They do not want to go to another overtime. They do not want to give another chance to Fennel. They've already taken the hardest part, the, the previous round, the attack side, but they might lose it. No, Asterisk right there to bring it back with two big kills. He gets a triple, taking us to a 1v1. Now it's all up to Tensai and onto Frostmine as they are now left here. 30 seconds left. In a 1v1 battle of the big brains right here. Controller versus Initiator. Again, Japan versus Indonesia here as we find ourselves on the 28th round. Frostmine just playing passively. And I've and I think he's just gonna let him plant. Just let yeah. him plant, get the information on where he is and on the other side. Tensai, he's Ten pressured seconds for time. Left. He needs to go for this plant, otherwise he is in a load of trouble. So he's gonna be creeping up from above, but the timing is no! there! He misses the shot, but Tensai, he's <laughs> gonna miss as well! And somehow, boom, eSports!